Australia is faced with a complex and challenging restructuring of its national energy system. The country has undertaken to reduce greenhouse gas emission and increase generation from renewable sources such as solar and wind. The current target is to achieve 20% renewable energy generation by 2020. Renewable energy will play an increasingly important role in Australia's future energy demands. Several large-scale projects have already been constructed and a large pipeline of wind and solar projects are currently being developed. Wind power can only be generated when wind is blowing and solar power can only be generated when the sun is shining. Variations in energy output are considerable over time. These variations do not always correspond with consumption. A large share of renewable power represents a major challenge to the stability of the electricity transmission system and the security of supply for the consumers. There is a need for a backup contingency in order to generate power in times with no wind, minimal sunlight and high demand. There is also a need for a storage capacity for surplus power during times of high wind, strong solar irradiation and low demand. Today, the most efficient form of large-scale energy storage is pumped storage hydroelectric power schemes. Developing innovative pumped storage power plants located in unique geological settings could be a part of the solution in securing a reliable energy system in Australia. The concept behind pumped storage schemes is simple. In periods of low energy consumption, surplus energy from wind and sun could be used to pump water from the lower reservoir to the higher reservoir. The water can in turn be released to generate power when demand is high and renewable generation is low. This cycle can be repeated over and over again. The Kidston project is a pumped storage project located in far north Queensland, approximately 300 kilometres west of Townsville. It is currently connected to the national electricity market via a 132 kilovolt transmission line. Once constructed, the Kidston pumped storage power plant would require a new 275 kilovolt transmission line, which would connect to PowerLink's main line along the coast. The project site is located at the old Kidston Gold Mine, which closed down in 2001. The mine has two large pits, which are respectively 240 and 270 metres deep, and would act as the upper and lower reservoirs for the pumped storage scheme. Since closure, the mine has been environmentally rehabilitated, and both pits have been partially filled with water from the nearby Copperfield Dam. Once constructed, the Kidston Pumped Storage Project would act as a large rechargeable battery and could supply power directly into the national electricity market in Queensland. Energy storage solutions must be developed in such a way that they are in place when renewable projects come online and their environmental impacts are at a minimum. As a mining nation, Australia has thousands of closed and abandoned mine sites across the country. A number of these sites have features similar to Kidston and may be converted into pump storage schemes. Clean energy is a global challenge. Further development and pump storage can contribute to a more reliable and cleaner Australian energy supply. GenX Power, a cleaner and more reliable energy for Australia's future.